So our next speaker is Steve Shinguan. Uh, Steve is a principal solutions architect specialized in scalable data analytics and cloud-native data processing systems. He has over 10 years of experience architecting and building solutions for enterprise customers in the financial service, manufacturing, telecom, media, entertainment, industries, industry verticals. Let us welcome to the stage, Steve. Hear me okay? All right, hello everyone. My name is uh, Steve. So uh, actually I prepared all kinds of jokes to uh, try to kick it off, but I mean, I was told this is only 15 seconds every single slide. So I'm trying to march really quickly. So I work for Elastic, which is the company behind uh, the ELK stack, uh, Elasticsearch, Kibana, and uh, Logstash. So I'm trying to talk about uh, really the power of combining logs, metrics, and APM together. So I think everybody here probably are already kind of on the journey of migrating from a monolithic-based application into microservices. You're probably using all kinds of different uh, programming frameworks, deploy them into kind of different environments. Uh, but have you, uh, what if, the question here really is, what if uh, you're really, your application and services uh, crashes or slows down in production, right? So what are you gonna do with all of this, right? You probably have components running on the cloud, on-prem. You probably are using containers and everything. So really the challenge here is how do you go to observe uh, what is really going on and be able to troubleshoot. That's where I think it renders almost a, a must-have to have observability. So this is really um, kind of a, a, a definition, scientific definition to it is really try to infer the internal state of your system by just observing the out, uh, external outputs. I like uh, another definition more practical from Charity. So basically what she says is you need to quickly narrow down to the cause of the problem. And really she's trying to frame this as a search problem, trying to basically ask ad hoc questions as you go through uh, troubleshooting and investigating. So I think we have a lot of customers, probably all of you here are kind of uh, piecing together different solutions, try to achieve observability. So you probably are looking into Splunk or any other uh, logging solutions for logs, uh, looking at a different tool for tracing and metrics and probably are storing them somewhere. Right? So this is really try to, uh, I think, glue together different solutions and, and try to uh, address the uh, observability challenge. So, so really, I think re this reminds me of the uh, kind of this particular very famous diagram from uh, Brandon. So basically, you're dealing with all kinds of different tools, trying to tap into different uh, uh, components and systems within your architecture, trying to understand what is really going on here. Right. So the problem with this approach really is context switching. I think context switching is really the enemy for productivity. So when you have a lot of context switching, trying to understand what's happening, you end up wasting time, and a lot of times you lose context when you're switching them, right? So that's really the biggest challenge with all kinds of different tools uh, to get to observability. So what I'm trying to get to is um, when you're looking for or implementing observability, really you should look for a single uh, solution stack to give you all three pillars of the observability. So basically looking for a solution where that can gives you logs, metrics, and uh, APM tracing information all together and really makes the navigation among them really smooth without a lot of context switching. All right, so um, I think, man, uh, I have a lot of personal stories I can share with you. If you want to talk, uh, we can definitely talk offline. But I mean, um, um, that's basically the, the gist of the message I want to get out to the audience here. Now, some of the other kind of practical uh, uh, benefits that we see with the, with the customer base we work with is you can definitely uh, uh, correlate logs, metrics, and traces by time, by transaction ID, by whatever context you want to tie them together. That'll help you to basically understand in a full picture what is really going on. And also detecting anomalies. Anomalies sometimes have various simultaneous indicators. You want to be able to combine them together and try to really see what if my uh, uh, website service is responding slow and also I have a disk uh, high IO and things like that try to combine them all together to detect anomalies and also you want to be proactive try to know all of those indicators all of those anomalies potentially happening with a composite of rules right if this happened and also if that happens I want to get alerted instead of a single threshold based rules right so also operation gains I think uh, uh, once you consolidate, this is really the power of consolidation, really. Con consolidate everything together into one single stack uh, reduces uh, a lot of the operational cost, a lot of the cross-team communications and things like that. So I uh, definitely recommend you to consider. So I think I'm going to talk a lot of the benefits. Actually, that could be your kind of guide to implement observability as well when you're trying to shop around and try to implement using pure open source. Uh, keep that in mind. The power really comes in to correlate them together and combine them together. So. Uh, again, my name is Steve, representing Elastic. Uh, this is hopefully a vendor uh, neutral talk. So uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, feel free to talk to me after this. Thanks. <laughs>